Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 982 and today we are back with another brand new video. Today's video, we are here as always to discuss the football. The football, by the way, this week has been pretty damn decent. Start off, we've gone through to a final, pumping Porto, send the name back when nothing but dives in Ser Arces, and then ending the week with munching on macaroni if Carlsberg did weeks. Now before we go any further on with today's video, just a friendly reminder between me and the, we are on a journey towards 55k subscribers, so if you could help out, that would be genuinely incredible. But what else was genuinely incredible was that result for the Glasgow Rangers. Gone into the Tony Macaroni, it's never ever easy, and there was a lot of questions of whether or not we could switch the focus from the high of Thursday and focus on a difficult battle in Livingston side, and boy... Did we? Now, am I sitting here saying that was Rangers at their absolute best? That was Rangers full tilt and it was the best performance of the season? No, of course no. But the way that they battled against the conditions, the horrific, horrific park in the hammer throwing style of Livingston Football Club, always at it, trying to get inside their head, that was pretty much as good as it could have been from the Glasgow Rangers. And when you look at the stats, it shows that Rangers went into there and dominate. But it did take a little bit of time for us to get the very first goal of the game. I actually came in the 32nd minute of the game, I'm pretty sure, from Joe Aribo. But shortly before that, there was a couple moments I want to discuss very, very briefly. The Ryan Jack shot, by the way, how that goalkeeper saves that, fair play. It takes a strong deflection and I understand that, but that's pretty much top breadbasket territory. And he was starving, what a save. And it isn't even the first time I've said that for this Livingston goalkeeper in the previous games versus the Glasgow Rangers, and it won't be the last because I'm going to say it again shortly in today's video. It was a very impressive performance from the goalkeeper. He certainly kept Livingston in it as long as he could. I think the best way to sum up his overall performance is he was nearly as impressive as his hair, and that is saying son. Never moved once. It was weird. And before we jump over to the very first goal of the game, I know there's a lot of debate about this one, so I just want to know your opinions on it. It's obviously going to be the penalty incident involving Alfredo Morelos in the first half, a couple of minutes before we ended up breaking the deadlock. Now, it's a long ball. Alfredo Morelos does very well to sort of position himself between the ball and the defender. He wrestles him away. He's through on goal. You think it's a goal. I mean, you're already stepping up. This man is absolutely fire right now. You're expecting it, but he just kind of stops as if his batteries ran out. It was like that movie Click, like someone just went, no, and just paused him. And while Morelos was paused, the Livingston defender came in like a bat out of hell, rifled him, and you think to yourself, that has to be a penalty kick. What is this referee doing? But to be fair to the referee, in my personal opinion, when I seen the replay back, it looks like he gets the ball, and that's a pretty damn good challenge. But I know there's a lot of debate about this, so I just want to know your opinions. Should it have been a penalty? Yes or no. Again, just to make it very, very clear, for me, the defender does very well, so no penalty. But thankfully, either way, it didn't affect the game of football because a couple of minutes later, we broke through with some beautiful build-up. It was fast, it was free-flowing, people interchanging in positions, and it's just a joy to watch. And I'm pretty sure every attacking player was involved in this move. Alfredo Morelos, Ryan Kent, but the ball eventually gets sort of challenged by the Livingston player. It drops the Scotty Airfield, and we finally see the Scotty Arfield we know and we've been waiting for because the weight on that pass is absolutely scrum dilly just right to Joe Aribo and Joe Aribo on that left foot first time buries it a fantastic goal and vital for the entire game I know it was a wonderful finish for Joe Aribo and I absolutely love that but just in the old heart for Scotty Arfield to be involved and get assist on his name that meant absolutely everything. Hopefully we see a turnaround of his season and he gets back to doing Scotty Arfield things. But I'm taking absolutely nothing away from that finish from Joe Rebo. Top, top notch. And it just goes to show when he's not forced to go off the part because of hammer throwing tactics, splitting his heat at him. Like the last time he played against Livingston, when he's on the park, it can be the difference maker and it must have felt amazing for him. So not only was this goal beautifully worked or had a little bit more of an incentive for Joe Aribo, it was vital in the outcome of this game of football because I think we were all the same when we got that first goal, we knew kind of deep down that we're going to go ahead and win the game and it looked as if the Livingston players knew that as well, especially the way it came out in the second half, they just never offered none. They looked like they were set up just to hurt people and that was the overall plan. Very, very disappointing to see from this Livingston team who on occasion can play the nice football but there was just none of it today. But there was more good play from the Glasgow Rangers, especially involving the second goal. It's a wonderful pass from Borna Bear Barisic who is literally born again Barisic. The level of his performances over the last 10 games or so 
is night and day and it just shows you how important a goal can be just to change someone's mindset and give them a bit of confidence because since that goal versus St Mirren he's looked the best fullback in Scotland and I'm not even joking about that he's just been levels and he showed that again with a long range beautiful bending pass across the ground that went right to the path of Alfredo Morelos but as beautiful as that pass was we need to just take a step back and say Alfredo Morelos you're the only guy in Scottish football that can score from that position because he's got Bartley basically on his back trying to rip him off the ball and that's a task on itself by the way because that man is a powerhouse but not only does Alfredo Morello stay on his feet, bodies the defender, it drives him into the box, turns him and finishes into the bottom corner. I'm honestly running out of things to say, he's absolutely incredible, 22 goals and it's barely November. Pedro Kishina deserves a Christmas card every single year for the rest of his life for bringing that Colombian soldier into this football club because it's the best thing that's happened to this club in a very, very long time. He's just the best player, isn't he? Let's be fair. And that's it for the goals, but I want to continue talking about Alfredo Morelos because it wasn't just the fact that he scored a goal, it was then crossfield passes to Tavernier in the first half that was absolutely on the money. He was trying no-look passes into Ryan Jack that was just slightly overhit, or he was in. He once again showed his tremendous temperament after he was getting kicked away the place, especially after the two goal advantage. But what was he doing? Was he getting up and reacting? No, he was laughing on the ground and laughing at the defender. He's a different animal this season and no one can get close to him. Sorry about repeating stuff you've already heard a million times, but a fantastic performance from Alfredo Morelos. Now another player who I was very impressed with in this game of football who was playing with a point to prove and that was none other than Glenn camera. Now before you jump into the comments and point out another mistake from me like you pretty much do every single video. This isn't on me ladies and gentlemen, this is on Sky because every single time Glenn Kamara touched the ball he was quoted as camera and to be fair to them it definitely showed flashes of brilliance. Nah in truth he was just able to run all day, it was almost like his battery never ran out. <laughs> I'll stop. All joking on that aside, Glenn Kamara was truly magnificent in this game of football, whether it was defending, whether it was getting the ball in tight areas, dropping the shoulder, beating men and driving us forward, or even just getting the ball and holding Livingston players off and then bringing others into play. He'd done it all and he came this away from scoring. Remember what we said earlier on in today's video about the Livingston goalkeeper making an incredible save? Well, he made another one because even Glenn Kamara thought it was in. He turned to celebrate, hit that so sweetly, but somehow, once again, the flawless-haired goalkeeper saved it. But what I find so interesting is Glenn Kamara's performance deserved the goal, but he shares that honour with another player who played balls out by the name of Barisic. He went very, very close in the last five minutes of the game, an absolute rocket with his left foot that somehow gets saved by the goalkeeper onto the post. <laughs> now, a couple of minutes later, he cut inside and went a whisker away from scoring with his right as well. It was his birthday. He deserved the goal. I hope the Livy goalie is proud of himself. But before we wrap up the individual player performance and I hand the reins over to you guys, I want to talk about the two centre-halves. Gerard went into this game of football in the press conference talking about he now has his established centre-half parent and there was some discussion in yesterday's video whether or not it was the right decision but based on that performance again after the performance from Thursday both of them is playing balls out and they're just getting better as their partnership grows both Connor Golton and Hollander in this game of football was fantastic so we all know Big Dykes is a handful it can be a real pain in the arse and be a real difference maker but the two centre-halves marshalled them to near perfection so I just wanted to mention Connor Golton and Hollander absolutely sensational. But I could honestly go on and on and on and speak about other players in the game of football who added a bit of something, but I would take up all of your day, so let's discuss it down there in the comments then, shall we? What did you think about the game? What did you think about the result? And also, what did you think about a fantastic week for the Glasgow Rangers? While you're sharing your opinion, I will jump over to Twitter and hear from the people. So over to Twitter then, there's already been 954 votes, that's incredible, thank you so much for getting involved. 3% votes for other, 23% of the people votes for Alfredo Morelos, 31% of the people votes for Camera. But the far away winner, and I couldn't agree more, the people's man of the match with 43% of the vote is B freaking. B. Rock and roll Elvis writes in two games in a row from Kamara for me, broke everything up brilliantly, found a pass and never gave up any loose ball, oozing class at the moment, for me he has cemented his place as 
the midfield general. Thomas Lee writes in, Scotty Arfield, Captain Canada, good way to end the week. Gustav writes in, Golden and Holanda were solid. Morelos was brilliant, but BB was different class. He is the new Papach. Stu Clemson writes in camera. He showed flashes of brilliance. Oh, we've got our own cheesy minds, Stu. That's what we like to see, son. Consider yourself followed, Stu. I'm a fan of the cheese. Kimberly writes in, Aribo and Golden for me. Livy are nothing but hacking bams. <laughs> we deserved that win. Gary Thompson writes in Barisic equals stunning. BF Gagan 992 writes in BB was man of the match for me. Great professional performance on a traditional difficult away venue. Clean sheet, couple of goals. CJ's prediction right for a change. I actually forgot about that. I finally got a prediction right, ladies and gentlemen. I finally got a prediction. And yes, I am very glad that today I'm actually wearing some trousers. That's right. That would have been very awkward if I was just chilling like a villain. He also <laughs> ends the treat, by the way, was in nice way to end <laughs> a great week. Logan writes in, Joe Aribo running the show once again. And the last one we'll read out, we'll scroll all the way up there, we'll scroll all the way down here, we'll stop it right here, and it comes from Matty T, and he writes in, I thought it was a professional performance from everyone, but Morello showing why he is the best striker in the league with a goal out of absolute nothing. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You've heard from the people. You've heard from myself. If you haven't done so already, we just had a fantastic week. What are you waiting for? Firework. I've been CJ Over 92. That over there chilling is Rocky Boy Johnson. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye